This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial had a name or rename columns and rows in a data frame in R. The column names of a data frame in R can be accessed using the names function. You can either type question mark names like this into the R console and look at the help file, or you can keep watching. You know, either way, it's cool. Oh, you decided to stick with me. Well, I'm just thrilled. I won't let you down. Let's load the ANSCOM data table into R. There's what ANSCOM looks like. Remember, R is a functional language, so you can query certain properties. You can access certain properties of objects that have been read into R. Here's the number of rows in the ANSCOM data table, the number of columns. Here's a character vector that contains all of the column names of the ANSCOM data set. There they are. C, same thing, but it's been read in as a character vector. Now, for example, we can only look at the first element of the character vector by putting bracket one bracket. Here's the first element of the, char of the character vector names of ANSCOM, which is basically the same thing as this. We can use the assignment opera and replace it with wowee. And now, when we look at the ANSCOM data table by itself, the first column is called wowee. We can do other neat stuff, like, for example, we can create a character vector of w1 through w8 with this paste command here, take that paste command and assign it into the names of ANSCOM, and now ANSCOM has been renamed, all of the columns have been renamed w1 through w8. Let's load a fresh ANSCOM dataset and do even more. Let's replace all of the y's in the co column names of ANSCOM with Z's. Check this out. If I do that, it's going to just print it to the screen. It's not going to save it anywhere. So now it's X1234, but instead of Y1234, it's Z1234. Now if we use this assignment operator and save it, overwrite the names of ANSCOM with the substitution function's name of ANSCOM, when we look at ANSCOM again, X1234 and Z1234 has been saved into the names of ANSCOM. If we want to change row names, we can just use the row names function instead of the names function, and it's actually quite similar. Look at this. This row is 1, 2, 3, up to 11. And this has been a work of R.